Hi there, this is Brian Joy, Managing Partner and CEO of the Food Institute. We're here at CES 2024. Technology and innovation is something that we cover here at the Food Institute. And today we, we're here with the Head of Marketing, Radawi Youssef, at Daybreak, and he's going to be talking to us a little bit about the freezing technology uh, with some of the machines that we're seeing uh, right behind me. So, uh, yeah. Radawi, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you for your time. Um, so, let me walk you really quickly through our uh, the main features of sure. our freezer. Let's so, do basically, it. our company, uh, its main thing is that we're a uh, Japanese flash freezing manufacturer, and uh, flash freezers, basically compared to conventional freezers, just hit temperatures very low. Ours is to uh, minus 45 degrees Celsius, okay. and it's at least ours is uh, three to four times faster than a conventional freezer. Okay. Um, the first main feature that our engineers worked for about a decade on is basically designing our own and unique airflow system. Okay. So we designed the blaze of the fans, we found like, the optimal position and the optimal number of fans so that we can create what we call a micro wind system. Okay. And this micro wind system basically creates like tiny and gentle whirlpools of wind inside of the chamber. You can like, okay. try it. Yeah, let's so take uh, a look. Yeah. You can like try it out for yourself, try like to put your hand in and you'll feel that your hand is automatically like and immediately right. enveloped by right. that like wind. So what that does is two main things. It hits the uh, ice crystal formation for any type of produce for water molecules very fast, which is around within 30 minutes, I think. Okay. Uh, and that is between zero to minus five degrees Celsius. If you hit it super fast, it lets the water stay where it is. I because see. discoloration and like drip loss, etc., is caused by the fact that that ice crystal formation period is not hissed fast enough. I see. Ours basically maintains moisture, maintains color, maintains texture, maintains aroma. What types of customers? Would, would purchase this type of product? I know uh, there's two yeah. models here, the bigger yes. and the smaller. So who, who are your customers? So right now our main customers are uh, restaurateurs, the, like ghost kitchens, for example, retailers, hotels. That's what we're working with. Okay. It's uh, people that need to like uh, more efficiently handle the labor time, the their labor force in general, without having to actually uh, worry about what the quality is going to be after they freeze it. What, yeah. types, what types of products are ideal for this this type of flash, so, flash freezing? So meats, you said mm, you, yeah. like mushrooms and mm, vegetables. Yeah. Are there is there like a particular product that this 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 mm. device works? exceptionally yeah. well. So we had like a wide array of uh, products and customers that work in different industries, work with different products. I would say like that the trickiest one would be vegetables because they're high in moisture content right, right. Uh, and high in water content and like keeping that balance after defrosting without actually damaging the quality of the product is a right. little bit more complex. But up until now we didn't have any big issues with uh, all of the ingredients that were thrown at us. Uh, especially since like we have an in-house team of nutritionists and chefs right. that continuously do research, do tests on different freezing methods on different ingredients. Up until now, I think we have done tests on like 600 ingredients. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And then, uh, in terms of like the cost, the cost of yes. the, the the larger device and the mm. smaller device, roughly, what sort of price point are we looking so at? So the uh, smaller <laughs> device is. Uh, the entry level one okay. and it's roughly about like 40,000 USD okay. and that comes as a package with a full like pre-sales and after sales services so what we do is for example on a customer by customer basis we'll be able to talk to the customer see what they need uh, to freeze how much they need to freeze and how much they need to use it for and what uh, what are like his sales channels basically because EC is completely different from right. like retail for example right, right? so after we get that information, we would tell our in-house team to actually run multiple tests and develop recipes that fit his uh, like their sales channels, uh, fit their business model, uh, as well as like prepping method to optimize the efficiency of the freezer, uh, the correct and the most optimal like temperature for freezing and uh, the time for uh, for like freezing cycle, as well as the storage method and the defrosting method as well. Got it. Well, there you go. Well, there you have it. Uh, food, we're here at the Food Institute um, at CES 2024 talking about flash freezing with Radawi at, uh, at Daybreak. So thank, thank you for you so coming much. to the program. Thank you so much.